teachers, friends, and my opponents. Myself, Vivan Sharma, and today I am going to speak against electric vehicles. When we think of electric vehicles, it's just like love at first sight. But the second sight will make you realize your mistake. Being an Indian, I am concerned only about my country in this conversation. I would like to ask few questions to my opponents. In this fast moving world, do you have time to recharge your car battery for 6 hours every day? How will you charge your car in country with shortage of electric power and long power cuts? I agree that EVs will reduce pollution, but how will you dispose the existing billions of diesel and petrol based vehicles with ozone eaters, chlorofluorocarbons loaded in their ACs? Do you want our country to be dependent on China for the lithium ion batteries? Let me share some of the hidden facts and data to throw light on my concerns. We just need to look at the most critical part of an EV which is battery. You can say that battery of EV is just like engine of a petrol car. Currently, all EVs use lithium ion batteries. But my dear friends, let me tell you the fact that the world does not have enough sources of lithium or cobalt reserves. Most reserves are located in a few countries like Bolivia, Chile and Congo. Worst part is China has already purchased most of the mines of these countries and has taken control. This will make us dependent on China which in current situation no Indian would want. You all know the reason why. EVs are not new. Japanese EVs came into the market 10 years back but could not break even because of limitations of battery technology. So my dear opponents, as we say in Hindi, Deepak Tale Andhera, the Tesla cars are just like lightning lamps having darker side at their bottom. So let's not get carried away by the trend of EVs but try to convert these disadvantages into advantages first. Heavens will not fall my friends if we don't go for electrical vehicles. Thank you. Wow, Vivan, can we have a round of applause for Vivan as well? Wonderfully spoken and not even once he felt the need of looking at his research or his, uh, you know, wherever he's written, superbly spoke and so very well researched, Vivan. You have definitely you, put a very strong point. And as soon as you all are trying to convince 